Some of you already know that I do have a low-key love for Affinity, and that's thanks to Popper. Affinity and Popper has just been my favorite deck for the longest time. So I've always wanted to play it in Modern throughout, and I have throughout Modern's history. I've just never hard bought into it, but I just, again, a recent top eight from it has just made me really love the deck even even more and today's matchup against rhinos just highlights the fact that honestly even without like super aggressive elements like the uh, mox opals and stuff you just can't beat the classics enjoy playing some more affinity today winning the die roll oh uh, no no there's like two dead cards it's a mulligan anyway i don't know what this hand does uh Um, okay, okay, uh, we're gonna keep this and drop an Ornithopter. I can sojourn his companion to look for another land. Yeah, um, okay, I can poop out a lot of cards here, but yeah, we're gonna need a sojourn his companion to look for another land here. Not, not ideal. Not ideal. Uh, we're going to Ornithopter. And then we can Springleaf Drum to play on another drum. And then we can Ornithopter. And then pass the turn. That's my hand. Next turn, what we can do... I don't even know. I... <laughs> We need to like draw lands. I kind of need to like, I'm going all in on this Urza Saga here. I kind of need to create another threat. Uh, they're going to Misty Rainforest into a Steam Vents. Oh, is this Living End? If it's Living End, I'm kind of pooped. That's not good. Yeah, it's looking like, it's looking like Cascade. It might be Rhinos though. It might be Rhinos if they're playing Dead Gone. Spire of Industries is a clutch draw. I will say that. That is a clutch draw. Um, I will pass through. I'll go to their end step. I'll make it on their end step. Yeah, Spire is a clutch draw. And really, I think what I'm doing here is I'm just going to be creating. I'm just going to be creating like more tokens just to provide threats because they're, they're going to cascade into rhinos and I need to have like big threats. That's the idea here. Yeah, Crashing Footfalls. Um, we are going to be making some tokens here. So bang and then bang. Right. So got a 4-4 four, four out. Saga trigger. Okay. And I think we're just going to create another one. Right. Uh, we're going to go bang, bang, bang. Right. Make another token. This is going to convert into another artifact. I think this artifact is probably best being Shadow Spear, honestly. Um, yeah, it's probably best that the artifact is Shadow Spear. Play the Razor Tide Bridge. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I have enough for the companion. Yeah, no point in looking for artifact lands now. Actually, hmm. actually, I have to look through the list here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's something here that I want to look for specifically. Yeah, Echoing Deeps. I mean, it's a cave. Echoing Deeps is a really clutch card, but you have to look for an artifact land. So I don't think there's much value in grabbing any of these. This is, I mean, this is an enchantment land, so... Yeah, um, I think we just play out the Sojourner's Companion just for more damage. Right? That's the last card in my hand. I don't I don't think it's worth like grabbing a land. I, I think it's better we just top deck, keep swinging. The construct tokens are massive. And uh that's it. Just going for an attack, eight damage. That's the plan. We have a shadow spear coming in next turn, so that's gonna be pretty good. Right? They're going to island cycle and they really have to at this point. They really have to like find some type of defense. I don't If I can somehow make this hand work, that'd be insane. Actually, like, I wonder what this deck brings in against me. I'm not, it's I'm not used to playing, uh, not used to playing so artifacts heavy into this metagame. So I wonder. And they just concede. Wow. 
that hand actually winning me the game was insane. So crashing footfalls. Um, yeah, I guess like it's force of vigors and foundation breakers, right? Shauna tide binders yeah, looks real annoying, but okay. So in this case, uh, metallic rebuke is probably pretty good. Mm. Yeah, Solus Jailer. Exile. Oh, yeah. Um. Pithing Needle, not that useful. It's really going to be like dispatches and portable holes and metallic rebukes. So. Even portable hole is kind of sus, not going to lie. Like, yeah, it gets rid of thing, but even portable hole is kind of sus. Hmm. Yeah. Patchwork Automaton seems pretty good, too. Welding Jar. I think, yeah, I think Welding Jar is going to be... Uh, Force of Figures Destroy? Hold on. It's been a while since this actually, like, mattered to me. Yeah, Force of Figures Destroy. Yeah, so we'll, we'll drop... Hmm. What's the one card we drop? Because I think I do want the Metallic Rebuke. I think it's Ginger Brute. Yeah, and then just run it like that. I think Portable Hole could be good, but I think this is fine. I think like Hard Exile is probably what's important here. That hand being like actually good was insane. <laughs> that being an actually good hand was unhinged. Okay, Metallic Rebuke. Echoing Deeps into the Urza Saga is actually like really good. I will say that. So we're going to go Spire into Drum. Do we go Spire into Drum? Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try this hand. It's a little slow, but I'll try this hand. At least like Patchwork Automaton kind of has like soft protection against, uh, it has soft protection against. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm, I'm more into playing out the Springleaf Drum now that I have the Thought Monitor. Um, yeah, it has like soft protection against Force of Vigor. Urza Saga though. Mm, like, ugh, Force of Vigor, good magic card, good magic card. Um... Yep, crashing footfalls onto the stack. Onto the stack. Okay. And then thought monitor. So we're going to go Urza Saga. Right? Yeah, we're going to go Urza Saga. At this point, Patrick Automaton. And they could very much go like Force of Vigor, Kill Spring Leaf, and everything here, but I can't do much about that either. Yeah, Metallic Rebuke's not online. This is just kind of what I have to play and do. If they Force of Vigor here, they pretty much win. Okay. No, no Force of Vigor so far. If I can untap. Fortunately, I probably have to like Echoing here. Like, your safest is to go off now. Safest is to go off now with rhinos. If you want to cascade into rhinos, do it now. Because even like cascading into rhinos isn't like the biggest problem for me, but. Let's see. Let's see what they do here. Cascading into rhinos isn't the biggest problem for me. Cascading into living end. That's a, that's a matchup where I need to hard mulligan into something. Looks like this might be a bit more grindy. Let's see what happens here. Double thought monitor. Not a lot of artifacts though. Okay, honor upkeep. Okay, just the saga trigger. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna play. I think I'm gonna. Uh, hmm, I think I'm just gonna have to play out the echoing, because I think I just need to start creating copies of stuff. That's hilarious. Does that actually matter? Hold on. Wait, I actually didn't even take that in. It doesn't matter. I don't have wait. I have a Plains Island. Oh my. Oh, that doesn't even matter. <laughs> I love that. I actually love that. Um, sure. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> 
I'm gonna mess this up. I actually shouldn't have. It would have added tap as a copy. Um. Okay, if they have force, they have force. I kind of just need to like get it out of them. And then blue. I just need to kind of like, I need to force them to have force. That's the idea here. Yeah, I need to force them to have force. That's fine. Actually copying the wooded foothills was probably a mistake here because I'm now just realizing it's not an additional in addition to its other things. So I probably shouldn't have just done. I shouldn't have done that at all. Um, and should just had it just be colorless, but mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Okay. Two rhinos come out. That's fine. I'm going to have more rhinos coming out soon, but I think, I think I can grind this out. I think I can. Let's thug it out. Let's thug it out. Come on. Okay. Let's thug it out. Uh, let's yeah. See this. I made a mistake there. Um, bang, and then, um, we're gonna blue bang, activate, activate, pay one. Yeah. Create a token. All right. Create a creature token. Then I'm going to have one, two, three. This, yeah, this, that, that misplay is really slowing me down like hard right now. Uh, spring leaf drum. Power depot. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And then I can go six. Unfortunately, if I had this mana, if I had this mana, I could be playing thought monitor right now. Yeah, this is it's probably going to be my ultimate downfall. Just being like a turn slower is going to make this really tough. It's going to make this really tough, especially because I'm not casting artifacts to make my um, to make my stuff bigger here. It's really unfortunate. Forging the anchor, if I can get like a force the anchor to resolve, that's actually a big game. Honestly, big game. I hate you. I hate you for that. Okay, fine. They use their blue source to tap that out. They tap and draw a card. Okay, I have a useless land. Okay, they swing in for 10. It's big, which is a lot. Swing in for 10 is a lot. Okay, echoing deeps. There you go. Finally, a proper echoing deeps. But do I want it to come in or do I want it to come in untapped? Um, I'll have it come and tapped as a copy of Urza Saga. Then what I'll do is we'll play. I have to pay two for Thought Monitor here, right? Yeah. Thought Monitor one. I got to pay two for this, right? So there you go. So I'll trigger. I'll draw some cards, which is good. Hey, thug it out, thug it out. Um, we're going to start exiling some stuff. So we're going to go thought monitor again. Blue thought monitor. Just grow the automaton. That's the that's the plan here. Grow the automaton. <laughs> automaton. Oh, yeah. Frog might just grow it even more. Love this. This is this is what dreams are made of right here. This is what dreams are made of. We're going to cast the Ornithopter. Keep going. Keep going, baby. Then we're going to go uh, tap this for white. Play this. Play another Springleaf Drum. Right? So many things. So many things are being cast in one turn. Then we're going to be able to tap this for white. Tap the Frogmite. And then dispatch one of these. That's the turn. We get to poop out a lot. We get to poop out a lot here. Um, and then we get to go to combat for 16. Attack. We get to go to combat for 16. 
Pretty much, yeah, like we're gonna do this. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I would love to grab a hollowed fountain, bring it in tapped. That's unfortunate. Okay, so next turn, they're gonna get two rhinos. They can animate this. They should not have lethal based on what, the, like that's essentially what I'm going for here. They should not have lethal based on what they have right now. They should not. Um. Forge, forging the anchor should be like pretty big cranial plating is going to be huge too if they don't have a counter spell for it and they might just like build out this massive board let's see what they do here last time counter comes off yeah they're going to cast their rhinos okay yeah i'm kind of just i'm kind of forcing them to have it here this okay Honestly, though, okay, so our Urza Saga is gone, but like the wooded foothills now tapping for mana is like kind of heat, not gonna lie. It's kind of heat. Let's block and kill. Do I want to block and kill this? I don't. I don't want to block and kill this. I'm at three. I'm chilling. Yeah, I'm at three. Get some damage going in the air. Yeah. Cause I can cranial plating. Yeah, 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 let's keep that. I can cranial plating. So that's gonna be important to my count here. Yeah, cranial plating on the ornithopter seems really good here. Plating on the, th unless they, if they have like force of vigor, if they have force of vigor or if they have like force of negation, like so be it, but I just have to, I have to try, right? So I think that no blocks is fine. We just kind of win on the backswing here. <laughs> this wooded, this really held me back. Um, I completely forgot it's not in addition in addition to its other types or whatever that it still tap for mana. Um, it just like hard becomes a copy. Okay, spire. Uh, hmm. Because I could play cranial for. I need three total mana. To equip this thing right so i'm gonna go one two let's play the cranial plating let's play the cranial plating let's play the hmm because i'm gonna swing just straight in the air and i need to get out as many artifacts as i can that's the idea here this thing doesn't have trample. This thing doesn't provide trample. Um, so I'm going to forge. We're going to frog my, I'm going to forge. Um, two, three. I'm going to, I'm going to forge the anchor. Try and like flood out my board with artifacts. Oh, Shadow spear. So good. Right. Just, just grab all these, play this, play the bobble, right? Play the ornithopter, which is great. The, the additional ornithopter is nice here because this equips for two. <sighs> I'm like one off from like doing both, but that's fine. I, I'm being greedy by thinking that way. Um... So I can equip this onto this for one. I have 14 in the air. They need to have force of vigor. I can just start playing stuff out, which is probably correct. Play out shadow spear. Right? Essentially just trying to grow this thing, right? So Okay, so it's really just do you have Force of Vigor or not? Going for the attack. Do you have something? Uh, attacking with this is kind of useless. Yeah, do you have something? They don't. We won. Oh, huzzah. Rhinos, eat that. No Force of Vigor. Turns out it's easy. Whew, we bumbled through, but... Oh, we got there. Okay. All right. Affinity. 
Yo, man. Affinity's... Come on. Affinity's great. Affinity's great. Come on.